Hi and welcome back to Greenstone and Ivy. In this video today I'm going to be making a Welsh slate house sign. I'm actually going to be using this slate here, so this is a piece of 1920s Welsh slate water tank. I bought the whole water tank probably two years ago and we've used it for all sorts of projects. But you can see it's nice and chunky, it's 45 mil thick. We only want our house sign to be about 20 mil thick. So I'm going to cut the rough shape out on the big saw, then I'm going to bring it back and I'm going to split it then we'll polish it and then we'll mark it out and then we'll get carving. I cut this piece of slate to roughly the right size of the house arm we're going to be working on. I've left myself a couple of mil just so I can polish it up at the end. But I've scored the lines you can see straight down the middle there so we can split it in half. I like to score myself a line with one of my old carving chisels. It's a lot easier to see a scored line than it is a pencil line. So let's try and split it. So I've got two nice split pieces of slate there, they're both slit nice about 20 mil each. So I'm going to put one to one side, that's for a different job. So this one we're going to go and work on. I'm going to take it into the cutting building now, I'm going to polish it all down, refine it all up, put a chamfer on it and then we'll come back and carve. So I've got the slate all polished, little chamfer on there. I've just laid the template on top. So I'll do you a close up so you can see. This template I made this morning, probably took me 20-25 minutes once I'd laid it all out on the computer where I wanted it and got the fonts right then I just set the computer going to cut it out I find this is a lot better way of doing it especially on the slate because it's so difficult to see the lines that if you need to keep going back to it and back to it you can just lay it on the top and then just keep going from there So I've got it all marked up on the slate there. Before I start carving, I always make sure my chisels are sharp, especially with the slate. I always sharpen my chisels a lot more when I'm working with the slate. Don't forget, if you have any questions about any of the things you see in this video, just drop a comment in below and I'll do my best to answer.
I'm all finished up carving on this side now. Customer still got to decide whether she wants it gold or white lettering, so I'm just going to lay this to one side and go and get some with other jobs. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.